Welcome back to Project Agro. I'm Phil, and today we're going to talk about Shogun. It's going to be a non-spoiler review, so we're going to talk about it. it. Shouldn't take too long, at least at least I hope so, because I tend to not know how to talk and fumble through my words. But the thing is, uh, I've highly, highly uh, enjoyed the show Shogun. And the thing is, I didn't know about the show until Gary from Neurotic posted that it was a pretty good show on X Twitter. And I was just perusing, you know, online and looking at him like, oh, Hiroyuki Sanada is in and he's a main character. And I really, really like him in most of, or if not all the things that he's in. But this show is definitely on another level. Now, what sort of basically pushed me over the edge to actually start watching the show was my, was our good friend, the Rogue Attraction, Tom. And he was like, if you actually really like this, uh, you know, Japanese stuff and uh, Hiroyuki Sanada and Shogun and stuff like that, like, like you should get, you, you should give it a watch, you know, like it's, it's really, really good. He said that it's, um, it's has like really good writing. And he says the first episode, there's some, there's some nudity and there's some boobage. So what did I do? I watched for the boobage and I stayed for the story. The story, it was actually pretty compelling. I, I really, really enjoyed it. I believe the book was done by a guy, things like James Clavel or something like that. And it was back in 1975. I believe he made a book and I believe there might have been a, like a mini series that came out in the 80s, but they basically redid it and this is what we got and it's from fx i believe it's fx um of course it's part of disney unfortunately but overall this is probably one of the best shows i've seen this year so far which is really really good i really enjoyed it hiroyuki sanada it's freaking awesome um he plays uh Torunaga, which is like the um, the shogun lord and he's part of like a group of regions and stuff like that and they're basically fighting over who gets to rule over japan and stuff like that and he's the one who doesn't want to be a part of the region so he sort of sort of left osaka which is where they're all uh, hanging out it doesn't actually follow uh hiroyuki sanada's character it actually follows this guy's character named uh john blackthorn I, I thought his name was blackhawk but it's john blackthorn he's basically a a, a um a sailor or a pilot from england and he happens to makes his way with a bunch of his crew to japan and i believe um he's christian and they're basically the catholic christian that that whole kind of stuff and i believe this is set back in the 1600 feudal japan i believe so which is pretty cool i i really really like it and it's more of it follows him and it doesn't follow most of the other characters and the other characters do um you know you know the other characters do actually bring his character up. And the thing is that they sort of made this in a way uh, comedic in John's point, right? Uh, John Blackthorne's point. And it's it's really good. It's really, really well done. It's because there's loss in translation. John does not know uh, what they're talking about when he first gets there. So everyone has to, like people have to translate for him. And the person that was basically solely his translator is uh lady marco and she does an amazing job as a translator it's it's really really good it blew me away and i would say like if anyone that is anyone that's interested in something that is a breath of fresh air um sort of like uh, oh man i'm not sure how i feel about these like uh th these kind of shows anymore it's because uh uh, game of thrones sort of screwed the pooch with that one uh, se season seven season eight sort of they fucked it up now the thing is this is a one and done um yes yeah, total of 10 episodes an hour each um there's i believe there's like two or three episodes where you, there's some boobs so which is uh I, I on top of my head i don't know which one i know episode one uh yeah so uh thank you so much for that tom uh, i i i i definitely did come for i did did came i came for sorry i came for the boobs and i stayed for the story it was really good now um no spoilers of course but one thing that i do um do want to uh the ending was sort of in the way abrupt but it makes sense right uh and i don't want to give it away or anything like that but the, the ending is like oh huh oh okay i guess that makes sense which is pretty nice like i said don't want to spoil anything um but yeah the, the main the main i guess pro uh antagonist is uh lord ishido and uh and he's basically tr basically he, he's the main regent in osaka and there's usually five people and uh yeah there's a there's a bunch of side characters that are really important and uh my one of my favorite side characters is actually um oh, what's it called again the, one of the spanish sailors i believe i think i think he's spanish or portuguese i'm not sure 100, 100 i'm not 100 percent sure but i believe he's spanish or portuguese i really like him he has very good personality um the funny thing is that john blackthorne i believe the, the actor's name is i think is cosmo jarvis 
or Jarvis Cosmo, which is freaking insane, freaking badass. I, that, that, that's a really, really cool name. So, um, but yeah, um, the show was really good. Um, I probably binged like eight episodes. Like when, when all episodes came out and then I still need episode nine and episode 10, I basically binged eight episodes in like two days, which is, one, which is not that much. But the thing is that given the fact that I'm working full time, I don't typically have time to go watch shows anymore. And plus I'm a dad. So, um, but yeah, uh, if you haven't checked it out, give Shogun a watch is really, really good. I highly recommend it. If I would have to give it a scale, I would say it's a 10 out of 10, easy. Easy 10 out of 10, um, it's gruesome. There's minor, uh, Co uh, comedic moments in there uh there's a scene with a chicken which is freaking awesome and then, but then it's sort of like it has a turn at the uh at the end of the episode you're like oh no but yeah that's really good i like that everything that you feel feudal japan should be is in this show give it a shot watch the first episode and you you will probably get hooked i i definitely was hooked after the first episode because i not only did i wanted to see more boobs thanks tom but I wanted to see how the story progressed. I wanted to see how the characters grew. And the thing is that there's not a lot of action, which is which is good. As a person growing up, loving action movies, watching a bunch of 80s movies with my dad, I really, really enjoyed action movies. As an adult now, I prefer dialogue heavy uh, with a little bit of action here and there. And the story, the character developments, and just the, the dialogue that these characters have with one another. And most of the time you'll be reading is because it's in, in Japanese. That's all you care about now. It's like, wow, that's actually really, really good writing. And that's the reason why I give this show a 10 out of 10. I highly recommend anyone who is slight, even slightly interested in watching it. I believe you can watch it on FX and Hulu. So if you haven't already done so, go ahead and give it a shot. Thank you so much for everyone for hanging out like share subscribe to project a girl thank you guys so much for hanging out uh, my voice is a little bit uh raspy because um i'm getting over a, uh, uh was it a cold but yes we will be coming out with more videos stay tuned i'll catch you guys in the next one